Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I am so excited today because I'm going to be doing a little demo, trying out Martha Stewart's Soft Gel Watercolor Paints. Woo -woo. Now, I have three colors. I have Harlequin, which obviously is green. I have, um, oh, Kelly, come on now, girl. Mardi Gras, uh, Mardi Gras beads, which is like a fuchsia pink. Come on now. And then we have blue velvet, which is obviously blue. I also have watercolor brush set from Martha Stewart and a water brush set. You get three of them and a uh, watercolor resist um, product. So these are at Michael's exclusively. So you can get, you know, uh, more colors than these three. You can get whatever colors that you want. We're going to just play with it for a minute. See how it is. See how they work. This is my first time playing with them. Um, so I'm very, very excited. Now, what I did was I took some of the watercolor resist and I used a stencil and just this stencil and I put it down in a couple places. And all you do is you squeeze some of this out. And you can, I used a, a different brush, but obviously you use one of these watercolor brushes to kind of put it on, you know, so it's on there and you let it dry, which pretty good, pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside. Very exciting. Um, and that's probably, that's this half up. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open these and you get a half inch angled brush for stroke work. You get a, I'm so excited, I can't even stand it. Number nine round brush for thin and thick lines detailing. A number 14 round brush for thin and thick lines detailing. A number 10 fan brush for detailing stroke work. And a seven eighth mop brush for washes and base coating. Wash while wet with mild soap and water. Reshape with fingers and dry with bristles up. And that's how you will clean these. Oh, let me try to get these open without breaking my nails. I'm going to be... You know, I have no patience. I do not like packaging, although I understand packaging, but it's not my best friend. So I'm going to throw these away. So I'll keep these in my watercolor brush stuff. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you all know that I have been, um, I, I go in and out with watercolor. I love watercolors. I use them in my mixed media all the time. But um, as far as doing fancy watercolor flowers and all that, you know, I'm okay. Not fantastic, but these have me so excited to, um, start again and really get into doing them. And this is an acrylic, um, soft gel watercolor. So I'm very excited and, um, curious how these work. Could I have opened these before? Yeah, I could have, but I didn't, but let me tell you, go to Michael's because you can get these and you can use you know, a 40% off, 50% off, whatever the coupon is that week, um, to purchase these. And that's very exciting. So, and I love watercolor brushes. I just can't stand myself. Okay. So I have those and let me show you, I don't know if you can see, but this is what they say to do. They tell you to take the one brush, which is, is that it? I don't know which brush that's supposed to be. Anyway, you put your stencil down and then you take the um, watercolor resist and you just, you know, do it on there and then you let it dry, which like I said, that's what I did. Now they tell you, you can do this watered down or straight up. So we're going to do both. That's why I kind of did a little bit of both on here. You can kind of see on there um, what we got going on. So I'm going to squirt some paint down. I'll move it over here. I'm just gonna just little bloops. And then we're gonna water down. Water down, water down. Let's do that here. Okay. Oh, green came out very he's ready to play. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some water. Which one will I water down? Let's do purple. And let's do pink water down since I have more green. And then I'm gonna take a brush and this is the half I cannot even see half inch let's mix it around in the water let's see what happens how am I supposed to know unless let's play and practice that's why I love doing these things because then you learn what to do and what not to do but that is that is beautiful oh my goodness look at that 
look at that. All right, so I'm just kind of mushing out some of the bloppiness, pulling some of that water. Yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And I'm going to use it on the masked part and on the regular. This is watercolor paper, by the way. It is an LBS. This is 140 pounds from Canson, you know, that you can buy at your local art and craft store. Go use your coupon, get one of them. They always have these on sale, though, um, like for five bucks. But definitely, all right, I think that's all I'm going to water it down first. And what I did also is I took my glue, because I know people are going to say, I don't have stencils. What do I do? I took the bottom of this, put it in the resist as well, and used that and stamped that around a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. I'm so excited. Let's see what happens. Nothing's happening. What did I do wrong? Let's see if what it does. Oh, okay, I can see it. Yep. Yep, you can see it. It takes a minute, so don't, don't be impatient like me. <laughs> but can you see it coming through? Oh, yeah. All right. Let me put some right here. Yeah, I got it now. I might even water that down a little bit more, to be truthful. But I just want you to see as I'm doing this. I'm going to add a little bit more water here. Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, that's not, that's my table making noises. Look at that, how cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, so let's try a different color. Oh, let's do it down here. This is watered down, let's do it like this. Look at that. So if we wanted to do flower all right clumpy there that's probably some glue on my thing i'm gonna wet my brush a little more oh yeah look how transparent oh it's so beautiful look at that <gasps> so nice you can always go over and pull some more of that off oh i love it okay that's just on regular watercolor paper now i'm gonna add water and just go on here just to thin it out a little bit to see look at that oh, I love that yeah oh love okay so I'm gonna rinse that off a little bit we're going in with the purple Let's see how this comes up. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And you can see, obviously I squirted way too much, but I will definitely use this. But it's a beautiful bluish purple almost on the mat, um, but on camera it's coming off blue. So, and I'm trying to get some of them chunks away. Okay. All right, so let's go here. Oh. Now, I didn't wet my paper. I'm going to do that. I have more down here, and I'm going to do that. I just want to kind of see it on dry uh, paper first because I like playing with it. I like to see. I'm one of them people. It's why I do what I do on YouTube. I love to push ingredients. Ingredients. What was that called? Products, Kelly. We're not making a cake, girl. Um, I love to push products to see what all we can do with them because in today's world, money can be tight. And, you know, I'm always trying to encourage people, please do art. If you want to do art, there's ways to do it. So when you go out and per make a purchase, you, um, you know, you want to get more bang for your buck. You want to use things in a way that you can use, you know what I mean? Use them in different ways, I should say, where you get more, you know, you can use product for whatever. Um, so, you know, that's why I like doing this. This, I did not wet the paper yet. Like I said, I do have some more down here to do. Um, but now I'm going to use this down here. I'm just going to wet it a little bit more and use it here. Oh, the color though. Look at this. Look at that color. Again, dry paper underneath and I'll wet my brush a little bit more just to, just to put 
play. Oh, I just love this. The colors are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me do a little flower here. I just take my angled brush and just do a little push a whoosh. See what I'm saying? And you got yourself a nice little flower. Great for mixed media too. You can see, um, look at that, it's how pretty. Oh my gosh. I get so excited with new products. Okay. Enough of that. All right, now we're going in with the straight up green. My brush is damp, obviously, right? Just damp. I'm going in. I'm not watering it down. Let's see how she works. I got a thing up here. Oh, it's beautiful, though. Look, it's still very uh, transparent, but the color payoff is everything. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be doing a watercolor paint later. I can tell. Look at that. All right. Let's do, I'll do half here and then I'll do. Look at that. Look how beautiful. And you can definitely see. Do it like this. You can definitely see the uh, masking fluid underneath. So resist, I should say, is what it's called. But you see how much, a, a tad bit brighter, you know? Not, not too, too much uh, watered down, but it is a little bit. But you can see that you can definitely use it. Oh, my goodness. The excitement that I'm feeling right now is not even funny. All right. And then we'll just go in straight here with and do petals. Just so you can see. Dipping, kind of taking it on both sides. There you go. You can see. Oh, it's so nice, so nice, so nice. Oh, and then I will go on dry right here. Look how nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. And look at this, how nice it. Oh, okay. So I get so excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, spray my paper. Everywhere it's white. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that running. That is everything. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I know where it's at. Spray your paper first. Spray your paper first. Oh my goodness. Okay. Since I already have green on my brush, I'm going to go in with some more green. And I'm going to go here. It wasn't wet over there, but let's make it wet. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And this jar is permanent, I believe. So I got to double check before I. Should have double checked before I said that to you, but I'm almost positive it said it dried permanent. Mm, yeah, non toxic permanent. Shake well. I wonder if <laughs> I can't remember if I shook it. Doesn't matter now, does it? Let's shake it. I, I'm, I swear, I shake everything. I'll put a little bit more of the pink here anyway. Because it shook. All right. Okay. So that green. Look at that. Obviously, my paper's warping a little bit because of the water, but that's all right. Okay. So you can see it's definitely wet. So let's see what that does. I hope it doesn't lift up the. It shouldn't lift up the resist, right? Cause we're just not getting that resist and it might just be the color. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it underneath there. It's under there. It's just a little wet cause I think I sprayed too much, but that's all right. We'll go. We're going to do a little dab for Angie today. Shout out to Angie. All right. And go back in. Yeah. It's res I can see it's resisting. I just have a little bit. A little bit too, um, there we go. Yep. Oh God, 
I'm in love. I'm in love. You might not be able to see that right now. It'll settle. Okay. My head, this is what's going on. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What can I do with this stuff? It is fantastic. Mixed media, permanent. I get watercolor on my mixed media. Oh my God, my brain is exploding. Okay, so let's go in with the purple. I'm going to just go on and dab both. And look at that. Look how it bleeds out. Oh my gosh. I am in love. In love. Now, obviously, I'm going a little balls to the wall here. I'm kind of, you know, a little bit more um, product just because I want to see how it reacts and what it does. Obviously, I know that it blows out. Look at, look, I mean, look how gorgeous that is right there. And like, look at this. How, how you see on like the edges, it's frayed. It's, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay. So I'm going to rinse my brush. I can't even. Okay. And I'm going to go in with some pink. I'm going to go in with this pink, which is not watered down. And let's see what it does on some of the watered down areas. Look at that. Look how beautiful that comes out with that stencil. Now I'm learning because we all learn a little goes a long way. So know that when you're doing this, that a little goes a long way. You're going to, you know, the less you use, the better. Now I'm wondering if this is just an if it isn't in a directions and I don't know, I'm going to wipe because it makes sense to didn't say, I don't think it said in the directions. I'll have to double check. But if I wipe this, right, because it's masking fluid, look at this, look how gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does it say this? Does it say this? Maybe I missed it. Applies and dries clear. Paint over resist to reveal design. Okay, so it doesn't say. It says, prepare the Martha Stewart Crafts watercolor paint by diluting it with water. Apply a thin layer of the diluted watercolor craft paint over the resist to let dry completely. For a more saturated look, allow first layer to dry completely and then apply a thin second layer of diluted watercolor paint. Clean up with while wet with soap and water. You can use this on paper, wood, or fabric. Hello? Oh, art dolls, here we come. Art doll quilts. Yes, please. For fabric projects, test on a piece of scrap before use. Use a soft bristle brush. Apply a thick layer of the watercolor resist. Allow to air dry. Resists. Resist dries clear. Okay. So let me tell you this. I, I mean, both are very nice. You can see the resist, but I'm digging wiping that. So I'm going to, I'm going to set this down for a second. Let's see over here. If I wipe. Yeah. It does take it off that, that, uh, with a damp, it has to be a little damp, it seems. And it takes it off what's already, you know, what we put as the uh, resist. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's like magical. Magical. It really brings that through. So now my question is, so many questions. If I use my brain it never stops because I'm always playing to see how much we can do here all right this purple which is still wet that's not going to do me no never mind here this is dry I'm going to take this resist I'm just going to do a little ploop here and I'm gonna I'm not going to use a stencil I'm just going to kind of put a thick you know kind of a thick layer on there and leave it dry and then um, see if I can layer on top 
and if that green will come through. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll just leave that there for a second. Doesn't take too much to dry. I can probably use my heat gun. Oh goodness gracious, it's so nice. I just I, I just am like blown away. Blown away. All right. So let me fill up one of these brushes. Probably should read the directions, Cal, before you rub. I'm hoping it works just like a regular one. I didn't know. Okay, so you unscrew it, and then that's where you'll put the water, and I'll just use some water from here because I'm too lazy to get up. And I'm going to fill it. Okay, do that. And, oh, always goes the other way. I always do it the wrong way, but that's user error, which <laughs> that's my channel. Okay, and it says push, Obby, Obby, Obby. All right, and I'm just pushing it to get that water through. There it comes. Okay, so let's use this now. Okay, so let's go in with some purple. Oh my goodness. I can't even. I can't even. Look at this how. Look, it, it's beautiful. Where could be in a blank? And I'm mixing some colors. So you kind of, you can see like the green. You can see how much lighter it is. Right? Because it's watered, obviously watered down. Oh my God, look at the beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I know. I'm going to, people are going to complain to me saying, oh, you're so annoying. Look, I'm not telling you anything. I'm telling you, you want to try these? Go to your local craft store with your coupon and get it. I don't get anything from it. I don't get anything for doing this. I'm just showing how beautiful these products are. You know, I get excited, whether it's this, whether it's glue, whether it's, you know, Cardboard box. I get excited. I can't help it. I can't help it. Don't watch me. That's all I have to say. All right. Let's go. So now I can't really. That is gorgeous. I can't really mix too much because I don't know what colors I'll get. I'm going to try to mix a little bit of this blue color with some of this pink to get like a lighter purple almost you know what i'm saying let's see what we got i'm gonna be playing with this all day i mean that's almost like a light light lavender i don't think that that should be on there okay put some of that pink on top of it yeah you're getting a different color almost a you see how different that color is than that? That's pretty cool. So make sure you play and mix. Now, I'm not going to do it in this video because I'm just because, um, but I think I'm going to try to, I'm going to do a mixed media background with these and acrylic paint and see how they work together just because you're going to get completely different layers and that kind of thing, which so excites me. And I want to see, you know, how I can play with these and work with them. Now I'm gonna, I know this is gonna be dry right here almost, so I'm gonna go in and wipe. Look at this, it's magical. See this right here? Now you see it? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You wipe it off. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see if this is dry yet. Oh, tacky, just give me one second. Oh my goodness. It's been my Okay, now let's do this. All right. Yeah, look at that. I see it. Oh 
right fingers. I'm gonna go dark. Just because I obviously green, I should have put it on pink, but hey, who's thinking? I'm so excited I can't think. So then I'm gonna do it up here too. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Let me see if I can dry it with kind of, with the heat gun we'll get. But right now, this is a win, win, win. And obviously it's gonna dry fast, it's watercolor, you know, it's water with some pigment. Now let's see if I go in and wipe. Need a little scoop of water. There we go. And you see how that stays green, but the rest of it around it picked up the color that we put over it. Mm, delish. All right. Okay. And here too. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to quit. Uh, <laughs> quit being so excited because you know I can be annoying but this stuff is fantastic and look let me just show you look at this look how light you can get it right very very light beautiful you can also see the next kind of stage of color up here and then the darkest right here so you can definitely play and get different variety of color you know what I mean so and then look at this, where we just mixed the pink and the purple, which I'm just kind of moving with my finger. But we mixed the pink and the purple, and or the bluish color. What color was it? I can't recall. Um, and, you know, which is this color and this color, and we get that color. So there's so much room for play with these colors. Now, the last thing I'm going to do, because it's just how I'm going to do it. Let me see here. I'm going to squeeze some of this out. Mm. so so good I am going to take and I'm not going to use those right now because I don't want to ruin those what I'm going to do I want to see how much this how much I can lift off so I'm just going to wet a brush and let's see I want to see how permanent they are oh they're permanent look at that that is not even moving any of that look at that nothing and if I see if I scrub out a little bit more, it gets more of the green coming through, which that thrills me so much. Look, I mean, look at this. You can hear me on the stretching, right? Scratching it. And the stuff that's dry is not going anywhere. All right. Now if I take, I'm just going to take paper towel real quick and roll it. I usually don't like to roll because... I reuse my paper towels, <laughs> but look, listen, I mean this right here, look at this still here, still watercolor, still beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. You guys, like I said, go check these out. They are Martha, Martha Stewart crafts, soft gel watercolor. Um, there's a bunch of different colors and don't forget to get the watercolor resist. This stuff is fantastic. I am blown away. So excited by these products. And um, you'll be seeing me do more, believe me. And I'm going to try maybe to do a giveaway. I don't know. Won't be for a while, but um, yeah, just so much fun. So much fun. I love these. I cannot, cannot tell you that enough. So thanks for hanging out with me. Um, and as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Remember, progress, not perfection. And just thank you guys. Thank you so much for being so lovely, leaving all your delicious comments and, you know, tagging me with all your work and just, just being so supportive of me. I can never thank you guys enough. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.